Right then, it's the final video of today. It is the review. Newcastle nil, Arsenal won. Ah, oh, that was pretty much frustrating that the day, wasn't it? Should have maybe took a, the one of some one of those chances in the first half, and the second half will give away a sloppy ball, and then uh, a ball was then played to Abamyang, who was completely unmarked. That's what happens when you don't mark Abamyang, and you and he's got loads of space to uh, take a shot, and he, that's what happened, and we were punished for that. So sucker punch that was it, unfortunately. But yeah. Uh, we did start uh, Joe Linton. He was the only uh, new signer who started the day as well, uh, today. Uh, Al, uh, alongside Almiron, uh, uh, Max, uh, Maximum was on the bench. So was Jetro Williams, Emil Kraft. Uh, but it was just uh, St. Maximum and Jetro Williams came on uh, in the second half. It was, uh, Steve Bruce only made uh, two changes. But I thought Maximum did all right did pretty well when I thought when he come on and to me I think he start needs to start the next game I think in the game against Norwich next week uh, in my opinion so yeah and um, what a, a good chance when Richie whipped a ball in who was not who came back from his injury I was very shocked about that one I thought he was going to be out for maybe a couple of weeks a few weeks with that hamstring, but no, he came back and uh, it was good to see him. Did whip a decent ball in. Joe Linton got his header onto it, just off target. Uh, ball was played through to uh, Almiron, who goes down in the box, think he's going to get a penalty, but the referee has other ideas and he books Almiron for diving. I looked at the replay up closely and I think he got it right, unfortunately. Even though I'm not a fan of Martin Atkinson, I thought he was crap the day as well. But he did get the decision right. And uh, yeah, no penalty was given. They probably maybe could have looked at VAR since it's now in the Premier League. But no, I think Martin Atkinson and all the other officials got that absolutely spot on. And um, Miguel Almoron was booked for it and deservedly right, so... Unfortunately, and uh, I know we had a great chance through Shelby, which was saved by Leno and off the post. Oh, so Arsenal's defending, living pretty on edge at that rate as well. So that was a brilliant chance. I know Arsenal did have a chance as well uh, through uh, Mkhitaryan, who absolutely blazed one over. He had a sh horrendous game, I thought. And a lot of Arsenal fans are wondering why he wasn't sold and then they sold a Wobi. Yeah, no, I... So, yeah. I think he... if I think he should have been away from Arsenal. And Arsenal fans were saying the same as well, that the Mkhitaryan should have uh, left Arsenal. He's not good enough to play for that squad, uh, I would say. And that proved... He was awful the day, unfortunately, Mkhitaryan. And we had another great chance when Joe Lynn received the ball. He took a shot, but it went straight at Leno. Oh, a one that he should have put in the back of the net for uh, Joe Linton. But can we get on his back a lot? Maybe not really, no, because he is new to the Premier League and he's gonna, he will have to get used to it, of course, as well. Along with the other guys that were brung in uh, as well. So, yeah. So Newcastle going to half time, it's still nil nil, and also Bamiang had a bit of a chance, which was saved by Dubravka. So nil nil going to half time, and there were some positives in that game. Newcastle just missing those chances, thinking really need to take it. But then second half, Arsenal was starting to grow into the game and starting to look more lively. Because then Paul Dummer gives the ball away, trying to think he's fine, going to try and find Dretcher Williams who came on. Unfortunately, Ainsley Maitland Niles intercepted the pass, whips a long ball in, and of all people, Abamiang completely unmarked, shoots, and he puts it past Dubravka, and it's 1 0 Arsenal. As I said, that is what happens when you don't mark Abamiang. He's going to put them in straight away. And he's been a top class player for Arsenal uh, since he's been he, since he's been playing for them. Well, there you go. He was on fire again. So there you go. And uh, we just didn't really uh, we didn't really have much chances after that as well. I've got to say. So I know what Maximum had a bit of a chance as well, but unfortunately Leno got down and caught that one. 
So, yeah, we tried to go forward, but just final ball lacking and just couldn't cr get any create any chances on that. But, yeah, we were, but I don't think we were, re we were bad. I think, I thought, as I said, first half, we had some really good chances. Second half, we let them come into the game and they got that goal. So, yeah, it's all is, I wouldn't say all is not lost just yet, but, yeah. It was just that one simple mistake that happened. And then, yeah, they scored it. But, yeah, the boycotts that were mentioned, it looks like the ground, there was about 40-odd thousand there. And I heard there was talks of boycotting in the game as well. Well, what on earth happened to that? There was about 40-odd thousand. Well, I was one of the people boycotting one of the games. I know the Magpie Channel TV, they were boycotting as well. Well, and, um, you know, the people of North Sharky, 100% NUFC, he wasn't at the game the day. And uh, so, yeah, I know, I do, as I said, I have nothing against people that do want to go back and support the team, then that's fine. But yeah, everyone knows why my reason why I've now stopped, stopped going to games for this season is because just the way how I felt in the summer, Rafa Benita has gone, and how Mike Ashley is is running this football club still. Yes, an overbringing signing, but can one transfer window change your mind? To me, absolutely no chance. So yeah, that uh, they so the game finished uh, one 0 Arsenal. So that was a sucker punch. Unfortunately, the day that one. So yeah, we'll move on to Norwich away next Saturday. And as I said, if we, t I think, as I said, I think Maximin has to start in the next game. I would say. Question is, who do you drop out of that game? I know, I know, Shelby to go off with an injury, so is he going to be doubtful? But if Shelby's fit, I think I would drop Hayden for next game. I didn't think he was that impressive. I thought, to be honest, like so. Yeah, and do you think maybe uh, like Sir Williams and Jet and? Uh, Craft need to be start next. I know Mankio start the dudes look good in preseason, so yeah, it's odd. Who let me know in the comments section who do you think needs to start next game against Norwich? Who do you think needs to be dropped out? So yeah, let me know in the comments section on what you think. That is the review done. Last video of the day, as I've said. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please like, comment, as I've said, on what you thought of the game. Were you there? Did you boycott it? And if you also knew and haven't checked me out on my channel, please make sure you do hit that subscribe button. And I will catch us all later. Hope you've had a great weekend, even though we lost the game. Hopefully, we'll get something at Norwich next week.